All right, adventurers, welcome back to All Play. Uh, we're taking another look at Dr. Boom's The Boomsday Project. It's the newest expansion within Hearthstone, and it's got a single-player component known as the Puzzle Lab, where they have different scenarios set up, and you've got to complete different things. What we're doing here is board clear. Uh, the goal is to empty the board completely of minions. No minions left on the opponent's side, none left on our side. Uh, we, completed the, we completed the first part of the board clear wing. Let's head on to the second. A strong start. I've got some gloop to spray when you're ready. All right, here we go with the flabidinous gloop. Uther versus gloop. All right, remember, the name of the game is Board Clear. Clear the battlefield of all minions. Welcome to my greenhouse. I just realized, I just realized what minion we're absolutely going to see before this is over, and now I'm mad. All right, Flabinus Floop side the board. From left to right, we have the Hungry Etten, a 410 with Taunt and Battle Cry, summon a random two-cost minion for your opponent. Then we have... Anomalous, an 8-6 that reads Death Rattle, deal 8 damage to all minions. And the Sleepy Dragon, a 4-12 with Taunt. Our side of the board, we have the Boulder Fist Ogre, a 6-7. We have our own Sleepy Dragon, a 4-12 with Taunt. And we have Deathwing, a 12-12 that reads Battle Cry, destroy all other minions and discard your hand. Our hand uh, starts with Humility. A says a spell that says change a minion's attack to one. Then outdoor. Where does my gloop come from? <laughs> Lacks a trade secret. Then we have outdoor peacekeeper. Uh, three three that reads battle cry. Change an enemy minion's attack to one. This one doesn't care if it's an enemy or not. Uh, then we have the evolved kobold. A two two with spell damage. And Consecration, deal two damage to all enemies. And finally, enter the Coliseum. Destroy all minions except each player's highest attack minion. Okay. Destroy all minions except each player's highest attack minion. Okay, so where to get started? Where to get started? Uh, oh, also, we are Paladin, so our hero power says summon a 1-1 one, one Silverhand Recruit, and there's no cards in either of our decks. Okay, so I already see... We have got to displace them all. <laughs> I already see if I play the Evolve Kobold, then my Consecration is going to deal 4 damage to all enemies. Let's see. We can use Aldor Peacekeeper and Humility to manipulate what stays alive and what dies to enter the Coliseum and clearly we want to deal we want an anomalous to die we want anomalous to die so it deals 8 damage to all minions so let's see if we can get his health below 8 his health below 8 I'm sorry well 8 and below 8 and below uh, okay Let's take a look at this. Think of all the mouths we could feed with these crops. We need what I need is for anomalous to die, right? One way we can do that is by using these two and enter the Coliseum. I need to change an enemy's attack to one, and that enemy's gonna die to enter the Coliseum. So if I change his if I change anomalous's attack to one. All I have to do is get their health lower than 12. Oh, shoot. This is hard. This was actually hard because because what I want to do is going to keep one minion alive. I want to attack here and here. Everything, these two and these two will still be alive, but they'll be low I enough health. There's a way to remove these minions without four. They'll, they'll be low enough health that Anomalous will still kill them. Okay, I see it. And then we make Deathwing Humility. And then Deathwing dies to this. Death, Deathwing was the only thing I was trying, having trouble figuring out. Deathwing dies to this. Anomalous dies to this. And then everything else dies to Anomalous. Okay, 
That's what we'll do. Oh, and the Peacekeeper will die as well, so we won't have to worry about him. So, Peacekeeper is going to make Anomalous much, much weaker. And Humility is going to make Deathwing much, much weaker. And then we just attack it out. We just attack it out. And now when I play Enter the Coliseum, all I need is to kill Deathwing and Anomalous. And they'll die. They'll die. Uh, and then everything else will die to Anomalous. Perfect. So these two live. The rest die. Anomalous kills everything else. Yeah. Board's clear. I was having, tr having trouble seeing it. Couldn't get all the pieces together at once. I saw both of them separate, but not all together. We infest it with minions. <laughs> this may take some hard work. All right, so floop side of the board. From left to right, we have the spawn of Nazoth, a 2 2 that says Death Rattle give your minions plus 2 plus. I'm sorry, plus 1 plus 1. He actually has two copies of that. One of them is undamaged, and the other has one point of damage, so it's really a 2 1. Uh, then he has four copies of Murloc Tiny Fin. Did I say four? I meant three. I don't know if I said three or four. He's got three copies of tiny, uh, Murloc Tiny Fin. It's a 1 1. Our side of the board, we have the Stone Tusk Boar, a 1 1 with charge. And our hand, we have Backstab, deal two damage to an undamaged minion. We have the Voodoo Doctor, 2-1 uh, with Battle Cry, restore two health. We have Eviscerate, deal two damage. Say, speaking positive words to plants helps them grow. Deal two damage to a minion unless you played a, another card this turn, uh, in which case deal four instead. And then we have Dark Iron Hul uh, Skulker. A 4-3 with Battle Cry. Deal 2 damage to all undamaged enemy minions. Okay, this might be a little tough. This might be a little tough. Uh, we're rogue, so our hero power is equip a 1-2 dagger. And there's no cards in either of our decks. Okay. So I immediately want to play the Dark Iron Skulker, which will work. It'll kill everything on that side. Nothing's going to get the bonuses from the, the spawns death rattles. But then our problem becomes, I have two minions in play. Our problem then becomes, I have two minions in play. All of the tools are here, but uh, how do we use them? I mean, I could just hit him. I could attack here. I could have the Stone Touch board attack any of the Tiny Fins, play Dark Iron Skulker, and then drop Eviscerate on the Skulker. I mean, that works. I don't think that's the way the game wants me to do it. I think it wants me to spend everything in hand. It doesn't care that I didn't. It just wants the board clear. But, I mean, that works. That's a very non-classy way to do it. Give your minions. Okay, yep, good. What works in the day? So there's one, two, three, and... F oh, the undamaged minions. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Yeah, that's not how I wanted me to do it. Okay. I am the biggest clown. I should have healed him first, shouldn't I? I should have healed him first. I still wouldn't have killed him because he's got plus one on him. No, it would have killed him. He didn't have the plus one. He got the plus one because the other one died. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a dingus. I'm an idiot. You know, I still could have finished that. We can take no, I couldn't slow, have. Just as grass grows. I was going to say I could have. I could have still healed him, used hero power, backstab this. Nah, I ain't have enough mana for it. Okay, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Let's drop this. We'll heal him. So he's a 2-2. Two -two. Yep. Now we can play Dark, Dark, Dark Iron. He's going to kill everything over there. And we just got to wipe out our own minions. This is going to deal four damage here. And then we can backstab our healer. We can backstab our backstabbing healer. Board's clear. We mustn't waste precious goop. Get rid of this trash for me. All right. Floop side of the board. Uh, from left to right, we have the Spider Tank of 3-4. We have Shenzhen Shield Master, a 3-5 with Taunt. 
We have Chill Wind Yeti at 4-5. And then our side of the board, we have our own Spider Tank, the 3-4. We have our own Chill Wind Yeti at 4-5. And we have a Boulder Fist Ogre a 6-7. In hand, we have Moonfire, deal one damage. Contamination, give a minion poisonous. And swipe, deal four damage to an enemy and one damage to all other enemies. Our hero power is, I'm sorry, we are Shaman. Druid. Druid. One of these two. We're one of them. <laughs> if only we had a couple of bananas. So our hero power is Shapeshift, uh, gain one attack this turn, and gain one armor. And then there's no cards in our deck. Either of our deck, actually. Why is it flashing? Oh, cause uh, I was doing this. Okay, got it. Uh, we can, we can, we can do a lot of stuff. Give a minion poisonous. Give a minion poisonous. Let's see. What I could do if I play swipe on the Yeti. The Yeti's gonna have one health. This will have three health. This will have three health. After I get rid of Where Shield Master. Come from? <laughs> Let's trade secret. Shield Master will also have four. If I get rid of Shield Master with the Yeti. No, with with the ogre. The ogre dies as well if it has poisonous. This has one health, so this could attack there. And they'll both die. No, they won't. This will die, but this won't. This can attack there. Oh, this is this is funky. I kind of just want to experiment with this one. Let's use swipe here. This is going to have one health. This is going to have four health. This is going to have three. Okay. If I give him poisonous, he can kill my ogre. That's the only way the ogre is going to die. Next, if I attack here. Oh, shoot. I goof somewhere. I goof somewhere. At best, I'll have one minion left. I could attack here and then. Oh, yeah, I could attack here and then here. Hit either one with Moonfire, but I can't hit both. I could switch it. And this will still have one health left. I goof. I goof. I need to find a way to get rid of. What if I swipe? What if I swipe the tank? Give him poisonous attack. If I swipe the tank, give him poisonous Attack with the tank and then attack with the ogre. They both die. This kills my Yeti kills his Yeti. And then I hit my Yeti with Moonfire. That's the answer, isn't it? Swipe the tank. Give the shield master poisonous. Attack it with my tank. Then with my ogre. Attack the Yeti. And then hit my Yeti. Wait, Moonfire. Okay. That was that was different. That was different. I was not thinking take out the tank first. Board clear. Oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. These are leftovers from a previous experiment. Make them go away. All right, what we got? What we got? Uh, Floop side of the board. From left to right, we have a Faceless Behemoth, a 10-10. We have an Emperor Cobra, a 2-3 of Poisonous. And then we have another Faceless Behemoth, 10-10. Our side of the board, we have the Clockwork Giant, an 8-8. Eight, eight. That reads, cost one less for each card in your opponent's hand. Doesn't matter right now. Uh, our hand, we have Mind Vision. Put a copy of a random card in your opponent's hand into your hand. Our opponent has one card in his hand, so very clearly, we want that card. Uh, we also have Potion of Madness. Gain control of an enemy with two or less attack until end of turn. 
Uh, confuse, swap the attack and health of all minions, and then confuse the game. If only we had a couple of bananas. Let's see. We have 10 mana. Oh, there's no cards in either either of our deck. We have 10 mana. Our cards in hand cost a total of 2, 4, 5, 6, and our hero power costs 2. I feel like I feel like this card here, let's see, 2, 4, 5, 6. This card here costs 4. What is it? Ha! Ah, it's Shadow Flame. Destroy a friendly minion and deals attack damage to all enemy minions. Okay. Okay, very clearly, we want to play all these cards. We want to play Potion of Madness and steal the Cobra. That much is clear. Destroy a friendly and deals attack damage to all enemy minions. That's this. Oh, that doesn't count. Does hang on, hang on. So in other card games, when it when it says it says poisonous, destroy any minion damaged by this. When we play Shield Flame, that's not that's not the Cobra damaging these minions. Oh yeah, these minions. That's that's Shadow Flame dealing damage, isn't it? Hmm. We're going to find out. Let's see. Confused. Swap the attack and health of all minions. Is that something we want to do? Think of all the mouths we could feed with these crops. I feel like that's the case. Shadow Flame, for this to work in my head, Shadow Flame would have to count as the Cobra dealing the damage. I don't see how these two can help. Stop the attack and health of all means. If I attack here, he's dead. He dies. Why would I want to switch the attack and health? Oh, did I mess up? I messed up, didn't I? I wasn't supposed to attack with him. He was what was supposed to do it. He was supposed to be Shadow Flame. Wasn't he? I think he was. Destroy Friendly. Let's find out. Yeah, he was supposed to be Shadow Flame. Experimentation is at the heart of science. <laughs> Don't be afraid to try new things. So let's steal this clown. Then we, why would we swap? The only thing that would switch would be these two. What does this matter? Let's destroy him this time. If we attack here, this is going to die. No, no, it won't. Hang on. If we confuse. Now it'll still die. It'll still die, chill. Don't you know how numbers work? We still have one left. We still have one left. Interesting. Powerful enemy minions are a great way to clear several of your own. We attack here, he's dead. Why would I? What? Excuse me? He's dead, and I can't do anything with either of those two. Oh my god, I see it. I don't want this clown. I want to attack this and then play Confuse. So now I can steal this and switch him back and now destroy it. <laughs> Man, this game is crazy. <laughs> Boy, clear. Fluke actually gave me advice that worked. He said, "Think, try different things. He is so helpful. I never, if he didn't say that, I never would have thought of that one. Never. Okay. Fluke side of the board. From left to right, we have an earth elemental. 
a 7-8 with Taunt and Overload 3. The Lord of the Arena, a 6-5 with Taunt. We have Rathian, a 4-5 that reads Taunt and Battlecry. Draw cards until you draw one that isn't a dragon. Uh, Shedinja Shieldmaster, a 3-5 with Taunt. Our side of the board, we have a Spider Tank, a 3-4. We have Boulder Fist Ogre, a 6-7. And we have Stormwatcher, a 4-8 with Wind Fury. That means it can attack twice each turn. Our hand, we have Shadow Word, Shadow Word Horror. Destroy all minions with two or less attack. And then Confuse, swap the attack and health of all minions. We are priests, so our hero ability is Restore 2 Power. I hope there's a way to remove these minions without force. We have six mana and no cards in either of our deck. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Clearly, we're going to need to play Shadow Word Horror after... We play Confuse. That's going to be the easy way. We just need to do this in a way that all of our minions have two two or less. I'm sorry, one or two health. One or two health. So when we play Confuse, they instead have one or two attack. And then we can destroy all minions with Shadow Word Horror very clearly. Okay. Uh, Stormwatcher can take eight. I'm sorry, seven points of damage without dying. He needs to take anywhere between six and seven. Uh, and he can attack twice. So clearly he's going to attack Rathian. We have got to displace them all. Hmm. Clearly he's going to attack Rathian and the Shield Master. Sonic Boom. He's going to bring Rathian to one health and the Shield Master to one health. That's perfect. That's perfect. Uh, next, let's figure out the Ogre Fist, uh, the Boulder Fist Ogre. If we attack. Let's see. I think we need to attack the Earth Elemental. It's going to die. The Ogre is going to die, but that's okay. We don't need it to stay alive. It's not the point of this. Next, we want the tank to attack the Lord of the Arena. Again, the tank's going to die, but the Arena is going to be right where we need him. Or the Lord's going to be right where we need him. Next, we play Confused to swap all their attacks with their health. And then Shadow Word Horror is going to wipe the board for us. Excuse me going to clear the board for us. All right. None of these minions are vegetables. Clear this rabble. You got it. Floop side of the board from left to right we have Megafin and A8 with Battle Cry fill your hand with random murlocs. Uh, then we have Sky Cap and Craggy. 4 6 with charge. Costs one less for each friendly pirate. And then we have Sleepy Dragon, a 4 12 with taunt. From our side of the board is empty. We have in our hand the Hungry Crab, Battle Cry, destroy a Murloc in game plus 2 plus 2. Then we have the Golaka Crawler, battle, uh, 2 3 with Battle Cry, destroy a pirate in game plus 1 plus 1. We have the Crazed Alchemist, a 2-2 that reads Battle Cry, swap the attack and health of a minion. We have the Void Terror, 3-3 uh, with Battle Cry, destroy both adjacent minions and, and gain their attack the and health. Here, but, uh, how do we use them? Then we have Rat Catcher with a 2-2 with Rush and Battle Cry, destroy a friendly minion and gain its attack and health. And then we have Shadow Flame, destroy a friendly minion and deal its attack damage to all enemy minions. This is an interesting hand. This, is, this one's going to be fun. Uh, our, we are Warlocks, so our hero powers draw a card and take two damage. Neither of our decks have cards in them. Okay, so let's see. Uh, clearly, we're going to play Shadow Flame to wipe the board. So we've got four mana spent already. Uh, we've got, what, six mana left. We've got six mana left. Well, we can do some fun stuff with six mana. We can do some fun stuff with six mana. Okay. So here's, here's some fun stuff we could do. We could play Hungry Crab, which says Battle Cry, destroy a Murloc. Positive words to plants helps them grow. Fun fact, when a card down here is glowing green, that means it's a card that we can play. For example, we can't play Shadow Flame. We have to destroy a friendly minion. We don't have any friendly minions. A uh, card down here glows green, that means it's a card we can play. We, we, we fit all the costs for it. The only cost for this one is it costs three mana. There's no, there's no other requirements for it. A uh, card that grow, glows yellow, however, means it can be played, and there's a situation that makes it even better. So, for example, the Hungry Crab is glowing yellow because there's a Murloc that we can play to just. I'm um, sorry, there's a Murloc we can destroy when we play this to gain two two. Murloc's right here. All 
All right. Next, we have the Golaka Crawler. Uh, we can play this and destroy a pirate. And gain 1-1. One, one. Next, we could play the Void Terror. We could play the Void Terror, which is going to, if we play it, it, positioning matters for the Void Terror. We want to play it in between both of these because then it will destroy both of them and gain their attack and health. But we can't do anything with it. We can't attack. It doesn't have, it doesn't have charge. It doesn't have rush. We can with the Rat Catcher, though. It's, it's the same thing. It's, it's two points weaker, but I'm sorry. It's one point weaker in attack and health, but it has rush, which is all I really care about. If we play it in between, ooh, destroy A friendly. Hmm. A friendly? All enemies. Maybe we don't want to attack. If we eat both of them, this is going to be what? A nine. We have got to displace them all. You're right. You're right. You're right. All right, let's think this through. If we eat them both with the Void Terror, it's going to become a 9-11, which is not enough to take out the Sleepy Dragon. If we instead use the Rat Catcher, it will destroy one friendly and gain its attack and health. Interesting. I thought this was both of them. So it would become a 5, what, a 5-6, regardless of which one. It will become a 5-6, which is still not enough to take out the Sleepy Dragon. It's in fact not enough. It's in fact not enough for it to it to even die. Well, I've goofed once again. I've goofed once again, ladies and gentlemen. Where does my gloop come from? <laughs> Lacks a trade secret. Let's see. I think I didn't. Yeah, I guess I did. Then I. I guess I did want to play both of those. Oh, we could swap him, but then we still have way too many minions in play. We still have way too many minions in play. Ah, ah well. Ah well. Make use of all your tools. <laughs> Never know when a new idea might work. You're right. You're right, dog. You're right. Okay, so the only thing that would be able to attack this turn is the rat catcher. Nothing else is going to be able to attack this turn. Maybe I don't shadow flame. Maybe that's the catch. Maybe I don't shadow flame. Three, three is six plus two, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Maybe I don't shadow flame. If I play, man, I want to play Shadow Flame though. <laughs> if I play Hungry Crab, if I play Hungry Hungry Crab, then Golaka Crawler. All that's left are these two in the dragon. They say speaking positive words to plants helps them grow. If I then eat these two with the Void Terror. If I eat both of these with the Void Terror and then eat that with Rat Catcher. This would be a 3-4. This would be a 3-4. If both of them go here, that would be a 9-11. And then if I here, if we go here and eat this after it eats them, 9-11. 9-11. Nine eleven. This would be eleven thirteen. No, nah, there's no way it's gonna die. There's no way it'll die. Okay. All of the tools are here, but uh, how do we use them? Okay, so that's not the answer either. It's something with the crazed alchemist. Who do I switch? Who do I switch? Let's 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 work this out. It's clearly me playing the crazed alchemist at some point. I'm clearly going to have to play both of these. And then one of these two with the alchemist. But when do I play the alchemist? That's the that's my question now. When do I play the alchemist? Playing it now doesn't change anything. Playing it now doesn't change anything.
If I don't play it now, I have to play it after. But then I need Void Terror to deal with this. Void Terror is going to eat both of those. Void Terror can't do anything. Playing it now won't do anything. Wait. Oh, no. I think this is supposed to be played and eaten. This is supposed to be played and eaten. Then I can sacrifice. Okay. Okay. So I am supposed to play it before Void Terror. I am supposed to play that sometime before Void Terror. Okay. Actually, I see what it is. I think I see it. No work is without merit. We learn as we live. Which one of these two am I playing? I think I want to play this one because it gets rid of the bigger creature. Now, if I play this and switch that one. No. Let's switch the dragon, because then it'd be easier to get rid of both of them. You love my new recipe. Now I play Void Terror. It's going to eat both of those. I sacrifice Void Terror. Everything's dead. There we go. There we go. Man, I wanted to have fun, though. I wanted it to be fun, and I play the rat catcher. Whatever. Board's clear. <laughs> Whatever. Board's clear. Uh-oh. All right, let's see. Floop side the board. He has Golmag. Is a 5-5. Five, five. Oh, Golemag, I guess. A 5. Ooh, it's not 5-5 five, five at all, chill. None of those. Well, there's a 5 on this somewhere. Is a 20-20 that reads cost one less for each damage your hero has taken. It costs 40. Oh, I'm sorry, 50. This is not being played in a normal game. Our side of the board, we have three of Gelbin's Coil. Uh, after you play a spell, deal one damage to a random enemy minion. It is a 1-2. Okay, so we need to play all the spells. Remember, we also need to empty our side of the board. Can't forget that. We've got in our hand, uh, we got a counterfeit coin. Gain one mana crystal this turn only. Think we've, of all the mouths we could feed with these crops. We've got two copies of Backstab. Deal two damage to an undamaged minion. We've got Preparation. The next spell you cast this turn costs three less. We've got Shadow Step. Return a friendly minion to your hand. It costs two less. And we've got Razor Petal Volley. Add two Razor Petals to your hand that deal one damage. They end up costing one mana. All right, let's get to work. Uh, let's play. Let's start with Preparation for Razor Petal Volley. So we play that for free. One damage from everything. There's three. Play Razor Petal. That's three more damage. I think I'm pretty sure I want to hit, hit uh, hit my things with backstab. Hit each of them with backstab, and then shadow step the last one. So they're not in play, but that's gonna be last. That's gonna be the last thing we do. Let's drop a coin. So now we can play both Razor Petals. Start here. And then another pedal. All right. So now if I play Shadow Step, we're going to bounce one of these back to my hand. And now we're only dealing two damage there. And then we can backstab one of our coils so that dies. We'll deal one more point of damage to Golemag. And then we can kill our last one with uh, backstab. Dr. Morgan could use you next. Board's clear. All right. We completed another challenge. I'm with it. All right. We're halfway done with board clear. Dope. 
We got two more challenges within the board clear wing, and then we'll be moving on to the last wing. This was fun. I, I really enjoy board clear. It's, it's, it's challenging. It's challenging. A lot of times this happens in real games. I'm sitting there like, how am I going to clear this? This nonsense of a board. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this video and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below the video. Now it's that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever a video gets posted to the channel or whenever we do something special like uh, single player stuff within Hearthstone like Booms Day Project Puzzle Lab. Thank you for checking this out and I'll catch you later with more here on Outplay. Dr. Morgan. This is going to be good. <laughs>